That's all. Welcome to Cold Milk on the, on the Couch, Cold Milk Podcast on the Couch. I got special guests in the building today. Yeah, it's Tamale Kravitz, man. You feel me? 438 Legends. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on IG, Tamale underscore Kravitz. T A M E L I underscore Kravitz. Say that. Um, it's Convertible Burke. You can follow me on IG at Convertible Burke. On Facebook, the same thing. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So, who is Tamale Kravitz? Let's let, let just get straight to it. Tamale Kravitz, man. I don't know. No, I'm an artist from Orlando. You know what I'm saying? I travel, travel a lot. You know what I'm saying? I I'm did music, put in work in different cities. You know what I'm saying? I'm up and coming, still, still on the grind. You feel me? That's why I'm really pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, that's what it is. Okay, all right. Can't go further. All right, now for those that don't know, we, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna back it up. We're gonna back it up. Mm-hmm. We're gonna back it up too. I wanna know you. The first the first song you ever recorded. The first song. Ever. Oh yeah, first song it was uh, with me, Crucial, and uh, and Louis. Or oh, they call him Trey Hamilton. Now. Oh, okay. I saying we did a song called G Swag. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That back in the day, you know, J Mart they had a little um, we had next tail phone, the church phone, motherfucker yeah. put my shit on the ring tone, go to Neil for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then before G was in the, I go ahead and put my shit on the ring tone, G Swag, gangster in the shed, with my dog block. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you went way back with that. What yeah. the city say? Where you at? That's it, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Next year, church, you know what I'm saying? Shit. shit, me and bro got old school shit with me, baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Old yeah, school. yeah, I know that's what, we're glad you brought it up. Cause that whole little, that whole little J-Mark era, yeah. if you look back, that's where everybody was at. That's where everybody was at. That's where everybody was at. Yeah, right, that's Civil Code Apartment. Right, that's yeah. where everybody was at. Yeah. But look, now, nah, you know what I'm saying? I know, matter of fact, we're gonna jump the offset Cardi B round. Oh, yeah. Cardi B and offset, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. tell you, I was like, I'm lit. I was like, okay, I'm fucking with yeah. yeah, it. Yeah, it got, it got a vibe to it. It got a vibe yeah. to it. It, do, it definitely got a vibe. And it's something like, it's something different. Like, you know, everybody from Orlando, they got that, you know, the way they coming. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know how I'm coming, so I try to drop different type of music. I don't have to proclaim anything. You feel me? Right, know. right. Drop what I like, you know what I'm saying? What I listen to. Right, right. Now let me ask you, now, the tamale, I wanna how you got the name? That's why I know tamale is the little Mexican Mexican hot food. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. You know everybody wanna be hot, man. Be right, hot, right. spicy, you know what I'm saying? Like all type of shit like that. Gotcha. So I, I I've been cooking. Okay. Like a lot of so I've been cooking in restaurants, so I came up with the name Tamale. I was from Tamale, I was Tamale Hot, then Tamale Savage. Oh, but I'm like, no, I'm gonna do crab. Everybody hinder with little crabs on the too much crab. I'm gonna leave it like that, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Now your music style, your music style. Like, if you as a matter of fact, if it was a genre, say say they came to you like, hey, what's your name of your genre of music? Crabs. What, what, what would you call it? Crabs? Crabs. Yeah. <laughs> right here. So <laughs> right here. So everybody yeah. know right here. Yeah. It's a whole genre out there now. New genre. Yeah, we started new genres from 2021, man. My shit crap. Right. You know I, mean? I see you came with the big bottle, my dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still, still last night. I'm still on some last night. Just, okay. It's the second win. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Nah, let me ask you this. <laughs> Tee up. Me, let me get, I need, I need your top five. Top five what? MC. Top five rappers? Yeah. Shit. a lot, man. My top five. I'm gonna say Future, mm-hmm. Drake, mm-hmm. Lil Baby, mm-hmm. Young Thug, <laughs> oh. and me. Oh, okay. God, dude. Okay. Yeah, that's what I like. Oh, that's what I like. Right. I, ain't, I ain't no New York nigga, no battle rapper. Like, what right. I listen to is what I listen to. Right, right. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Nah. Future, team me up, though. Future. Oh, Future, get you ready. Thug, team me up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Nah, if you only could listen to one CD, you got one CD in your car, that's the only thing you listen to. Every day. Hmm. Damn, that's, that's a tough one. Yeah. That's a tough one, though. That's the way an industry, like an artist. No, it, it, don't, it could be, it, no, anything. It ain't. Like what? Yeah, it could even be R&B. It, you only got one CD, and that's the only thing you rock around to. Only thing you rock around to. They got me dirt spray. Yeah. I, I, okay. Okay. Yeah. I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Yeah. 
Shout out to Future, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Bay. Lil Bay Fit, too. In Atlanta. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've been going to You've been in Atlanta. Y'all been saying you've been, I've been seeing you in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I've been seeing you working, though. I've been Key, Dirk, Killer Mike. Okay. Got them, the nigga, little comedian Reggie Baby. Right. I done ran into all Young Dro. You know what I'm saying? Casino, Teleman Casino. Okay. Just on some regular shit like the Red Deshaun walked in the club. Right. right. My dog, just me and my dog, we throwing money in the club. Right. He come over there and dap me up, dap my dog up. Right. Then my dog chopping it up with us. So he like, man, I'm coming on our sex. You know what I'm saying? Them boys sure. smoke. I don't smoke weed, but them boys don't smoke hanging out. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Just on some regular shit in that level. That's how I right, feel. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so imagine, do you feel, all right, do you record in Atlanta too, right? Yeah. Okay. So, do you feel like, do you make better music when you're in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Or it don't really matter where you're at? No, no, I ain't gonna lie, I make better music here. Okay. Because this, you know, this is where I'm from. Okay. So, I make better music here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. Yeah. Right, right. Good talk. Gotcha. Now, let me ask you this. In, in, in Orlando, like, where you been in Atlanta, and you know Atlanta got their music shit. Beat. 25 years, they been holding down by 25 years. Right, right, right. I just know, I just know, I went up there, you know, mm-hmm. and I learned some shit. I know they like. Okay. You feel me? Cause you know they they get shit further. They shit go to pop and first. Right. So like I know I know what's popping. Like you feel me? Like, I would right. tell a certain nigga about Lil Key two years ago. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now these same folks like ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Now they playing them on it and right, they right. story and shit like that. Right. I ain't no single name. Now let me ask you this though, your fan base. If if, if somebody came, you be like, hey, Tamale, what's your fan base? Do you know your fan base? No, I'm yeah. still, still building. Okay. I'm still building it. I mean, it's definitely local, like Orlando. Okay. But, but it's really like the trenches, like the people that's around me. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Who right, right, team right. me up? Like, that's my family. But I'm trying to market and get it out there to, to right, where right. the world can see right. what, 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 we, what, I'm, what I'm coming up with. What I'm right, right. Now, let me ask you this. Now, you, um, you got a TikTok. Cause yeah, TikTok. Everybody get a TikTok. I ain't got one. My daughter, she had to go shit over. I got to go more. Yeah, I see that TikTok shit. The kids going crazy about yeah. that TikTok shit. Yeah, yeah, the TikTok for real, yeah. for real. Nah, let me ask you this. Let me ask you, let me ask you this too. Mm-hmm. Nah, right now is a spotlight on Orlando. Definitely. Spotlight. Now I know you've been doing this for a while. I know you've been doing it for a while. Did you ever think that it was gonna come? Like how we is now? Did you think back then that shit was was the light ever gonna be put on us? I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it would be shining more, to be real. It's a spotlight, but I, I really thought, like, back then, even when I'm in the studio, I'm thinking, yeah, ain't everybody finna blow, we finna do it. You right, know right. what I'm saying? Like, so it's even right, like, with the love and hip-hop shit, like, boom. I want to love and hip-hop Orlando. You feel what I'm saying? So when I blow, I'm gonna try to make sure we have a love and hip-hop Orlando. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because but we I'm, heard all of it. I'm gonna tell you something about that, though. Orlando love and hip-hop? <laughs> <laughs> that shit gonna be Yeah, that shit gonna be That shit gonna be trick. Yeah, cause, hey. I look at like um, Atlanta hip hop and all of them. They kind of season. Yeah, they, they, so yeah, they put together. Already. Orlando really ain't gonna. It'll be a script, but somebody will fuck that script up because some real shit will go down because they yeah. the, and yeah. this ain't really what the fuck going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I don't think we. Yeah. I I hope we do. <laughs> I'll tell but you. It just, it just too much shit going on. It's too much shit going on in Orlando. But, but then it's a whole bunch of shit going on in Atlanta too. So, you know, yeah. man. So, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah. I think, that I think really we're going to wait. Oh, that, that shit separated. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. at, when you at the top, it's like you you blending in through everything, but you mm-hmm. don't be in that, they don't be in that shit. You feel what I'm saying? It really be the streets that be, the nigga that's really in the streets still on this shit. That's where it be at. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, uh, this. Now, I always got a part in the cold milk thing. Mm-hmm. I ask you, what's your favorite cookies? My favorite cookie? Yeah, your favorite cookie. Shit, I like chocolate too. All right, now. Like, what kind? Like, chip boy? Chip boy? Okay. Okay. But what you got on now? Favorite cookie? What's your favorite cookie? Yeah. Uh, I like chocolate Okay. Like, okay. All right. I'm gonna say I like all the Girl Scout cookies. All oh, the Girl Scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do it. I like the Christmas cookies though. The Christmas cookies yeah, with the sprinkles on it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the sofas. <laughs> the big like cakes, huh? Kind of sort. Oh, the little Debbie cake. No, you know the cookie with the little cream on the top of that bit with design, but that bit be soft. Oh yeah, but and it come in a little special wrapper. 
Yeah, you go to Walmart, they got the whole. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there in front. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I like them. Yeah. The yeah, the little sugar. Yeah, the sugar. Can't hang on cat. That on the canteen list. Okay. Like, that on the canteen list. So I don't even know where they at in the streets. Like, yeah. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. And they big. Yeah, they big. Yeah. And sometimes they, they come in a bath. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got. I'm saying what? What the most popular? I'm asking you a question. A cookie question. What's the most popular cookie from back in what? The late nineties, early two thousand. What it was? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you though. The, the uh, what it is? The big fifties? Big sixties? Big sixties? Yeah. I yeah. swear yeah. to God. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you why they were. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why they were most popular. Like they wasn't it. the goodest. It was but, a minimum. It was just it was a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a whole bunch of them. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I spend. I spend. See, yeah, yeah, big dog. You feel me? But um, let me ask you a question though. Like. What was the most popular, I feel like, popular cookie back in the day that you probably find in every hood, like, in the crib, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, them, uh, the Big Six. Boom, oh, Big Six, this yeah. the Big Six. Them bitches be the, the shit, like, lemon cookies. Yeah, but, I'm, but you know thing. what, I'm going to tell you something. They yeah. weren't the best tasting cookies, but it's just, you got more so for your top. I'm telling you. I don't, I'm going to tell you, ice cream, what the mm -hmm. fuck, Napoleon or shit where it had the vanilla, the... Oh, the, the strawberry, the chocolate, chocolate. strawberry, yeah. Yeah, that shit was, it was good, but we ain't know no better. But then, yeah. when the motherfucker got older and they could buy that. Yeah, learn about them other, other ice cream. I was mad at him at my mom. Yeah, yeah, I was mad at him. See, my mom used to buy that for us, right? But then she had a butter pecan put up for us. Right, yeah, yeah. You know exactly. But yeah, I didn't hear them like, oh, no, yeah. you don't want none of this. Why would I not want none of that? Yeah. But, you know, but then, like, yeah, yeah. But now, uh, let me ask you this now. Yeah. How do you feel about the industry be like, fake it to make it? Fake it to make it, I believe in it. I believe in it, you know what I'm saying? Because if you fake it to make it and, and you got that still in your head, you in the studio, you might drop something somebody can't relate to. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, I wouldn't say, nah, wait till you have this and this and this to even start to produce some music. You feel what I'm saying? It's music. You feel back in the day, they used to communicate through music. You know what I'm saying? So, faking to make it, that's why they label it. But, bro, express yourself. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, because right. one day you're going to have it. If you stick to it, it makes sense. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I would never put nobody down. Right, right. Yeah. Nah, yeah, on that part. But I mean the part where, you know what I'm saying, you're faking like you got these cars, jets, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that part of it. It's music. It's music. I will, entertainment. I, will, I got you. Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Entertainment. At the end of the day with the music, we are entertainers. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? That's where the stage presence come in too. You know what I'm saying? That's why people say you got to be presentable. Right, I'm saying to be on stage. Right. Now, yeah, let me, now let me ask you this. Okay, costume. Like, check it out. Okay. Nah, but like the gist that's why they not comprehending that it's entertainment. You see what I'm saying? No. They no. ain't comprehending. No. So that's when that's when the shit get kind of tricky. You get tricky. Because, yeah, it's entertainment, but the gist watching, and they don't know that when the song over, that shit for the end end. So they going out there, and they doing this shit. So it's real life, it's entertainment, yeah, but entertainment, you know what I'm saying? Then that, 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 that's on that part, like, but right, 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 right. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell somebody like go pick up, pick up a gun and go do this. You feel me? Cause you, right, know, right. you know the history about Tupac. Yeah, Tupac, Tupac was the cotton. Tupac was an actor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So you don't feel like he was faking it to make it when he felt like okay, dog, like on my chest, or on my, you know what I'm saying? When he he had the, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. He went to get mixed up in shit and. Right. He was acting. Right, I right. feel like he, he was, damn, I gotta turn up now. Like right. he already used to acting. So right, now right. this is, that's his costume. Now what he gotta do? Right, 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 right. And yeah, yeah. and so, but in, like what you saying that, yeah, that's right. And then, but that's why a lot of the rappers, when they like go places, they be kind of fucked up. Cause niggas you rapping too, they really bought this shit. Yeah, so they gonna get on you. Then they yeah. trying to holler at you, oh, and they like, damn. So they feeling a certain type of way. They be like, nigga ain't living like that, man. Nigga soft, man. Right. Like, but he just entertained. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He just entertained. Yeah. He just entertained. I mean, but it's on it's on the fans to be able to uh, distinguish if a nigga really living that or he's an entertainer. Right, right. Without, without feeling upset about it. Right, right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Oh, exactly. I'm, I'm a harm. I'm a, I'm a wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, right. like, oh, I'm going to snatch a nigga chain. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Get you a bag, get you some money, like you know what I'm saying. Like, you feel me? Uh, right, uh, right. Uh, learn what he learned to be able to do it and do it yourself right. to be able to get out the hood. Right, right, you feel right. what I'm saying? But folks with the wrong mentality, they they take the wrong way. Or a young brother that ain't got no guidance, mm -hmm. they take the wrong way. You feel right. me? I look at them like little. You feel me? You gotta pick them up, clean that area up. 
pick up the young brothers and clean them up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yo, so look, so let, let, me ask, let me ask you this too. The difference from the streets now and the streets back in the day, what's a big difference? What you what you think is a big big difference from when, you know what I'm saying? When you you know what I'm saying? When you was young, yeah. you know to how from looking from looking and learning and watching I, when I was younger uh -huh. to now I can say I can control my destination or control my situation. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Gotcha. Like that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? I can control my destiny. You feel what I'm saying? Back right. then it's like I was oh watching people do shit or trying to do shit to imitate. You feel what I'm saying? Got right. bumps and bruises, shot and all that on the way up. But now I can control what I got going. That's the difference with the streets of me. You feel what I'm saying? That like young shit, all that violence, I don't be on that until I got to be on it. You feel right. what I'm saying? So I don't need to be around it. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right, right. All right. Now, uh, let me let you chime in on that too, bro. Uh, I just got to like the streets, man. Like, what's the difference from the streets to now? Like, yeah. me, I just feel like they tolerate more bullshit. Okay. I can tolerate more, you know what I mean? Right, right. Shit that ain't really what's going on. You know, what was going on. Right, right. I'm right. more accepted to, you know, the cosign. Right, right. No, nah, I feel y'all about that one. But let me ask y'all this. Now, nah, back when y'all was coming up, back when I was coming up, you couldn't name yourself. Now nah, it's just like you can wake up and you can say, my name murder 17 people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Back, yeah. in, back in the day, you couldn't name yourself. Yeah. Somebody had to name you. You couldn't name yourself. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I think that's where the shit Got like you know what I'm saying? It got kind of, kind of yeah, kind of, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Kind of mixed up. Yeah, I say exactly where you coming from. I be trying to shake my name, Snap. Everybody like, oh, that's Snap, man. Oh, Snap, what up? Right, right. Cause I used to be Snap. I was snapping with rapping or snapping on people. You right. feel me? Oh, so now I'm trying to shake the name because I might holler at a bitch and be like, my name Snap. You know why they call you Snap? Oh, you crazy? Right. Oh, that's the first thing they gonna say. So I'm trying to shake that. So I had to create my own name nowadays. But back then, a bitch made me snap. Right, yeah, yeah. He's yep. saying, he saying like somebody like a civilian, like off the porch, ain't living like that. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 like 95 years. Like, yeah, name themselves like New 360. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, like some. They done spent the being, you feel what I'm saying? And they ain't never spent before. Right, you right. What I'm saying? So it, I totally understand where you come yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so, <laughs> it, it's so easy now, you just wake up. Like, fuck it, you know what I mean? You, you know, can build your resume. You right, right. You know, get on there and build your resume. Right, right. Now, hey, let me ask y'all this. Now, how y'all feel about the whole smoking on people? They, like, smoking on somebody, like... Man, I feel like if you got... I feel like if you really got beef and it's, like, it's blood behind that, you know, people done died behind that, it's okay. and somebody done, you know what I mean, on the other side, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, if you're fucking when they're alive, then how you supposed to be, like... Rest in peace when they die. Like, I, don't, I don't really understand that. Like if I want to respect you when you was alive, it was how you expect that to change. Like, I don't right, really right. Understand that. Right, but so do you good. think? But nah, like, do you think? Like y'all understand part, but it's just like the part where they, where people, it be the people that ain't even got nothing to do with, and get on there and be like, oh, we smoking on such and such. Yeah, but that's out of our hands. Like, right, right. Like you got, you got, like you got people who ain't never. Uh, you know, live their life, they gonna talk about that regardless. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. Like, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm really on the same. But the rappers who doing like, they looking at like, shit, I'm getting paid off it too. Right. So it's like, okay, you are art to me. You feel what I'm saying? I done done something to you, and I can rap about it and get paid from it. Right. So it's like, you know. Yeah. So like, back like, but I'm, I'm trying to think like, back, back, back then, I don't think motherfuckers were didn't even, they went in because well, I'm saying because back then in house shit you were saying in house right because they didn't so motherfuckers didn't want you to know what the fuck went on they called yeah. tips on that yeah. yeah. right we, back then we didn't speak by name right so you know what I'm, I'm saying this generation they they'll fuck around and, and break into somebody's house and be like let, let, let's go around that shit why just broke in four thirty seven six you know what I'm saying yeah. like we Come got the beat right because the beat rhyme but like that's what that's what I'm like damn I'll be just looking at like damn y'all yeah, this what what y'all doing? Like, like like them folks in that uh, in Cali about that. Um, I just went down off of EDD. Da 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 da. Look, them hands. Yeah. Boys swiping, big time, big scam likely. But them boys got them went in. Right. Boy went in, rapping about that shit, bro. Right. I mean, you feel me? Right. Right. I don't know that. I guess that's the way they try to stamp. You know what I mean? Right, like, right. What they got going on? Right, right. But like, if you doing it, you doing it. Like, if you right. breaking the houses and you and you, shit, you, that's what you doing. I right. Guess. 
Nah, it's not. Let me let me ask y'all this too. So, your favorite? I'm saying I want to get both y'all. Your favorite movie? Oh shit, my favorite movie, uh, Menace to Society. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, why why you why would you why you picking Menace to Society? Cause it reminds me of like shit that was going on when I was young. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it was. Get out the dark skin dude and the other one that had the hat on. Yeah, I see. I, I seen the trailer on that. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, shit. yeah, I seen that. I seen yeah, that. I seen that. But yeah, but that, that American skin though. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's that. Um, no, we got the box at home, so I, you know what I'm saying? Tighten the yeah. shit in and really come up. So yeah, just American skin is everyone. Is everyone, knows everyone. But yeah, now let me ask you this. So, the rap, like where you see you, where you see yourself, like in five years. I mean, with all we talk about this, but I see myself getting signed this year. Okay, you know what I'm There's a lot of people, like young people, like okay, they got woo woo. So at my age, I need to really like get a radio hit. You know what I'm saying? I need to get my shit. I get BDS man. I really want to go for marketing BDS man. Get a radio hit. I get signed. I feel like I'm getting signed this year. We talk about that all the time. I feel like QC. Okay. I the QC or YSL. Maybe 10, 17, you know what I'm saying? But in five years, I see myself on and putting other people on. You feel what I'm saying? I want to have a local studio, uh, club, and also a recreational center where the kids can record. You feel me? Right, right. My aunt, she had all in the school coaches then. That was in the next building right here. You right, right, saying? right, yeah. I play African drum growing up. You feel me? Talk on all the type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So right, right, right. I always went after when I first moved from Miami. But I want to start. Something like that myself. Gotcha. The kids can record. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Gotcha. From a young age, because you never know what you can birth and inspire. You feel me? Right, right, yeah. Especially if it's, yeah. especially if it's brown. It's like we limited, limited on the sports or the computer. Right. Like video game. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Exactly. When exactly. these kids out here can't say, really cannot say one word, but they rapping all these songs. You know what I'm saying? Right, or, right. Or, exactly. You feel me? Exactly. But, so, yeah, I'm that but that yeah it's funny how you said that, because my next question was how you think, like, we should we should bring back the community center because oh, yeah. back in the day it was whole you know it had, it had community center boys and girls club so it was something everybody could do if you want to learn this learn that we don't really we don't really have that no more so you know what I'm saying yeah. so the kids really ain't got nothing to do and then yeah. even even the youth sports that shit is so high that's that's like 150 dollars yeah. for somebody to play basketball or football you know what I'm saying so yeah. how you think we could change you know what I'm how you think we could Change that and like, I mean, build the you know, as, as brothers, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Really, even even female, like we all as adults need to come in together and make like you feel me. We, let's say this table right here, mm -hmm. we gotta have a table, bro, so they can come in here to this place and we can teach them right. before they be just in the neighborhood every day hanging out. Like they got a room to come in here right. and do, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and give them an option, give them an opportunity. You feel what I'm saying? Even with acting, like, you know what I'm saying? Why we can't put, like, you know what I'm saying? Have some kids that's practicing or, you know, with theater, try to put them on with something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's on us at our age to do that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Because if we don't do that, the kids will just be lost out here in this world. And right. then it'll be more young killings, young people going to jail. We got to give them an opportunity to be able to escape the stuff that we barely escape. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I feel like putting together a center, you know what I'm saying? Like putting together a center and investing our time 
and to these children. You know what I'm saying? Because they is the future, as you know, you know that. You know what I'm saying? And then well, that's how we make the heaven at the end of the day too. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Bro, you want to chime in on that? Um, yeah, I feel like we definitely got to get back to the youth. You feel what I'm saying? Like, uh, shit, you know, the youth in the future. So, you know, I feel like you definitely got to get back to them. I don't really feel like you can really say, like, you run a city or you the man of a city or you the man of the city if you ain't gave back to the city. Right, right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like people should embrace that. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, when you ain't gave back, you feel what I'm saying? Especially mm -hmm. to them. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. so that's, you know, that's what I feel about that. Right, right, right. And you saying, but it's good, because that was my next, that's why I was doing that. When you were like, people saying like they run the city. Right. But like, how you, how you, how did, how y'all feel about the whole checking in when you get to a city? You mean like, <laughs> like, like somebody checking in Orlando or no. us having to check in at the city? Like, like having to check yeah. in with somebody. Yeah, yeah, just the whole, you feel me? You know, yeah. like Birdman, Birdman, you, them cats used to have to check in with the Zoles in Miami before they can do anything. I don't feel like you got necessarily to check in, but I feel like it's politics, you know what I mean? I feel right, like right. you're gonna have just your people that you tap in with, right, and, right. you know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, like, we were just out there in Cali, you feel what I'm saying? Right. Like, so, so just to be able to tap in with, with just people seven, right. you know, on the flight seven hours away, you better tap in with, you know what I mean? You know, that's love, but right, right. for like beef and shit like that, no, 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 no. Yeah, just tap in. Yeah, like, I don't want to get. You might have people you, that you, you lock in with. Right, right. No, nah, it's folks that extort people though, bro. Especially yeah, in the music I, industry. I, I yeah, yeah. I but no, I want. But, but yeah, I don't know. I want to talk about. I yeah, want to talk about that. Yeah, I was just talking about basically like how you been broken down. Is just letting people know like, bro, it ain't. It's not a wrong thing because anywhere you go. You need to tap in with right. you gotta know somebody. Right, you got to. You gotta know somebody. So it ain't so I was just I was just trying to get it to clear it up for you know what I'm saying, the youth. Not knowing cause the youth when you gotta think when the youth here, they're like, oh no, I ain't checking in with no motherfucking body. Like, that's a lie. You got to you're not gonna be out there all by yourself. If you somewhere and you don't know nobody, that's about it anyway. Yeah, but it's gonna yeah. take it, you know, it's gonna take for youth to grow. Right, right. You know, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, shit, we were like that. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know it, what I mean? But, you know, you, you got to grow. Right. That. And we were like that, but then if you if you go back and think, and I always remember, like, hey, but you ain't going to, you, you might not understand it now, but you'll understand it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, us saying it and just putting it out there, everybody ain't going to grab it, but one or two people are going to grab it. You know what I'm saying? And I think we done got, I think our era done got caught into that. Man, they ain't gonna listen, but we still gotta put it out there, cause somebody gonna catch it. I feel like that's really, and I feel like that's another difference with the streets. Right. I feel like, you know, that's how a lot of the OGs look at it. Like, they really wash their hands, like, they, you know, they ain't gonna listen. Right. So, yeah. they ain't really no guidance, you know, to pick it back on what bro was saying. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But then another, but another thing, too, you think all these, Young and you, they getting a lot of money, so they ain't so they looking at like, man, I don't give a fuck what he talking about, cause I'm way up here. Yeah. But it shouldn't be like that, and that's that's when a lot that's why a lot of them with, they crashing, cause they don't got nobody. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got no guidance, cause they getting all the money, so everybody around to me, yes man. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't got nobody like, bro, that's bullshit. Don't do that, cause yeah. the OG scared to say that, cause he gonna cut him off. Yeah. Well, you know man, but not no, but not knowing if you fuck with you, he ain't gonna cut you off. Cause he gonna listen to you like, damn, okay, he telling me some real shit. Yeah, you know what I'm mean? saying? Like, but I would rather right, be the one to stay on your ass. And if you get mad about it, two years down the line, you like, damn, I should right. listen, bro. It, exactly, cause yeah. cause at the end of the day, you help. Yeah. At the end of the day, you help. Yeah. At the end of the day, you help. Yeah. But yeah, man. But you know what I'm saying now, you know, before we close, I always, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I give you the flow. Whatever you want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Whatever man. you want to end it with, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, to my crab, man. I got my vertical vertical work with me, you know what I'm saying? We rocking that cold milk podcast, you know, big old boom edgy shit. That's two times. You feel me? Yeah, Cardi B all set just dropped yesterday, Valentine's Day, on all streaming platforms. You know what I'm saying? I got new stuff coming out. Two Cat and a Hat mixtapes dropping. But I'm hitting y'all with some singles. Videos on the way. I just dropped Deep in the Bowl video. You feel what I'm saying? I got a lot of music coming at y'all right now. Straight marketing. I'm on your ass, y'all fuck with me, big 438 shit. You know what I'm saying? This how we doing it. Say that. What he said.
<laughs> that way. All right. <laughs>